Good day. Welcome to today's lesson. So, in our previous lesson, we talked about the SOL, like we introduced it and um, we went through how to use it and the differences it has with the Gossetal and the similarities. So, today we are going to throw more light on the SOL by solving um, an example with it. So, you see, you are supposed to consider this system of linear equations. So this is a system here. We are supposed to use the SOR method with a weight. Our weight given here is 1.1. To find the first two iterations on the system and we've been given this initial condition. So we are very unfortunate. Um, we are just supposed to do just two iterations. We are supposed to do just two iterations. So as I told you, whenever you are um, Solving any um, system of equations using the iterative methods, you make S1 the subject from equation 1, X2 from equation 2, X3 from equation 3. When you're having four equations, that means X4 from equation 4. So, doing that, that means you're going to get our X1 to be equal to 1 over 3 or multiplying 1 plus x2 minus x3 then our x2 will be equal to 1 over 6 0 minus 3x1 minus 2x3 and we have x3 will be equal to 1 over 7 4 minus 3x1 then minus 3x2 so when we do that this is what you are going to get right but remember we said with the SOR we always have a weight which we are supposed to attach to this equation that we have here so we attach the weight here so you're supposed to attach the weight here but in the question the weight is 1.1 so that means this place times 1.1 times 1.1 and times 1.1 and after that it is plus 1 minus 1.1 x3 so you see plus 1 minus omega omega is 1.1 then plus <coughs> 1 minus 1.1 x2 then plus 1 minus 1.1 x1 so to be able to understand what you are doing here make sure you have already watched um the lesson to the sor introduction introductory lesson on sor because we are picking up from where we ended there All right so when we get something like this that means we can simplify it when we simplify it, that means our x1 is going to be 1.1 over 3 and multiplying 1 plus x2 minus x3 and minus 0.1 x1 then you get our x2 will be equal to 1.1 all over 6 and 0 minus 3 x1 minus 2 x3 and all minus 0.1 x2 I'm going to get x3 will be equal to 1.1 over 7 then all multiplying 4 minus 3 x1 and minus 3 x2 then minus 0.1 x3 so you realize that if it was a Jacobi or the goal said that we have used the previous equation we had but because it is sor we've been able to do this manipulation to get certain things here and certain things here too so that's the reason why the sor converges faster than the goal set out because we attach a way to it so then the next thing first to do our iterations so we do the iterations using the procedure for the Gaussian. So with the first iteration, realize that our 
initial value is 0, 0, 0. So with the first iteration, so because it's first iteration, we bring 1 here. Our x1 of 1 will be equal to 1.1 over 3. Then 1 plus x2 of 0 because the previous value for x2 that we have are the initial conditions here. Then minus x3 of 0. Then all minus 0 0.1 x1 of 0. So you realize um, when you make substitution, this will give us 1.1 1 .1 over 3, 1 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0 0.1 times 0. When you do this computation, you end up with 11 over 30. So we do we solve for x2 in the first iteration. So that is going to give us 1.1 1 .1 over 6. 0 minus 3x1 one of 1 because we just found for x1 one of 1 here. Then minus 2x3 of 0. Then minus 0.1x2 of 0. So when you make substitutions, you are going to get 1.1 1 .1 over 6. Then 0 minus 3. 11 over 30 minus 2 times 0 then all minus 0 0.1 times 0 so after doing our computation we're going to get negative 1 over 21 all over 600 then our x3 of 1 is going to give us 1.1 1 .1 over 7 then 4 minus 3 x1 of 1 minus 3 x2 of 1 because we just found x1 of 1 and we have our x2 of 1 too then 4 minus 0 0.1 x3 of 0 so making substitution gives us 1.1 1 .1 over 7 then 4 minus 3 so this is 11 over 30 and this is minus 121 over 600 then this is a minus 0 0.1 times 0 remember this is 0 from the initial condition so when we do this computation we end up with 7711 over 14,000 so that's it with the first iteration so that means after the first iteration, our value for x, the first iteration will be 11 over 30, negative 121 over 600, and 7711 over 14,000. The next thing is for us to do our second iteration. So, our x1, so our x1 of 2, meaning the value for x1 during the second iteration, will be given by 1.1 1 .1 over 3, multiplying 1 plus x2 of 1, minus x3 of 1, then all minus 0 0.1 x1 of 1. I hope you understand how we got this. We are using the values from the first iteration to find those in the second iteration. So we get our x1 of 2 will be equal to when you make substitution, we're going to get 1.1 1 .1 over 3. We have 1 minus 121 1 over 600. Then minus 7711 over 14,000. Then we have minus 0 0.1 times 11 over 30. So when you do this computation, you are going to end up with 0 0.0541.
So we have x2 of 2. We are going to have 1.1 1 .1 over 6 or multiplying 0 minus 3x1 of 2. Because we just found for x1 of 2. Then minus 2 x3 of 1. Then minus 0 0.1 x2 of 1. So when you make substitutions, we are going to get our x2 of 2 to be negative 0 0.2115. Then we go to our x3 of 2. So with that one, we are going to have 1.1 over 7. I'm multiplying 4 minus 3x1 of 2. And minus 3x2 of 2. Know that of 2 because we already know the value for x1 of 2 and x2 of 2. So we use those ones instead of x1 of 1. So all minus 0 0.1 x3 of 1. So our x3 of 2 we equal to 1.1 over 7 or minus 3. So our x1 of 2 is 0 0.0541. And our x2 of 2 is negative 0 0.2115 and all minus 0 0.1. So our x3 of 1 was 7711 over 14,000. So we knew this particular commutation, you end up with 0 0.0. Is it 0, 0.0? Okay, 0 0.6. So 0 0.6. Four seven seven. So the question told us to do just two iterations. So that means after the two iterations, our approximated value for x will be zero point zero five four one minus zero point two one one five and comma zero point six four seven seven. So you made comparison with that of the Jacobi and the Gauss. Now you realize that the particular method. That's the SOR converges um, is the fastest among all the other two. So thank you very much. This is the SOR method.